feel like it. Um, I'm going to spend a lot of my time actually in code, so feel free to ask questions throughout. Before we get kind of into the meat of things, though, maybe we could introduce each other. I can get to know who you are. Tell us a little bit about what you do, uh, maybe who you work for, what kind of role you have. And uh, while you're introducing yourself, uh, let me know, too, what you know about Xamarin or mobile development in general. Start over here. Yeah, I'm Ming Wang. Uh, I'm working for a gaming company. It's called Arrow International in the west side. Uh, actually, our system is currently based on uh, the traditional Windows. Okay. It's Windows 4, Windows WPF, and we're considering transfer to uh, different platforms. I follow I played some times. Cool. Like that. Sure. So, I think so there'll be games on the there's gaming. Gaming. Oh yeah, okay. we yeah, we designed it's it's kind of bingo. Okay. Okay, bingo. right, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, bingo, that's right. Your biggest yeah. customers are from Alaska, right? Um <laughs> no, the customer not from Alaska. Oh, uh, it's, it's the just, entire state of Alaska. Just regular bingo holes. <laughs> oh, yes. Sure. Yes. It's not for commercial bingo. Oh, okay. Commercial uh, consumers. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I'm familiar with your work, yep. Um, who do we have in the back there? Uh, Brian Sewell. I work for Sherwin Williams. I'm an IT manager there. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> yep, and the camera. Did you know it just? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he works up there. Uh, one of the teams we interface with, yes. Um, as far as uh, we're pretty much a Linux shop where I'm at, but uh, interested in Xamarin running uh, C sharp applications on Linux. So oh, okay, um, just yeah, I don't know much too much about Xamarin and very little about mobile development. Okay, cool. Uh, Bob, yeah, <clears throat> I'm Bob Logan. I am uh, a faculty member at Kent State's uh, Regional College at their Salem uh, campus. And uh, I've been working with another faculty member to uh, develop some mobile application um, courses to add to our application development concentration. Uh, and we've been working on one um, that is uh, that we're hoping to incorporate a Xamarin module into uh, to satisfy our clients or our clients, our customers, our students who also want to learn how to develop for iOS and Android platforms. Uh, since it's difficult to get free tools for those platforms, uh, this is a way we can do it with Microsoft tools, which we can get for free, and uh, still let them develop apps they can share with their friends on other platforms. Cool. Boris Rigushvili develops software for a live stream technologies company, local in Cleveland. Uh, we develop software for uh, motor controls. Oh. And Mostly working with C sharp, this type of applications. Have interest in this topic, this is why I'm here. Okay. So, I'm Robert Maynard, I work at Progressive Insurance, uh, applications developer. I work on the back end of their coding systems that people use to get quotes for policy. Uh, I don't know anything about Xamarin, but I keep hearing about it, so I want to come here. Okay, great. Uh, all right. I'm Murray Christel. I work with Ken and Bennett Adelson and Macropoint subsidiary. And uh, everything I know about Xamarin, I've already learned from Ken or Bennett and his, <laughs> and his, and his recommendation. Cool. I'm uh, Jeff McCandless. I work with Laurel Consulting. We build a lot of websites for ERP systems. And we've had a lot of interest recently in building interfaces for Android, iOS, and actually Microsoft too. So. Cool. I work for West Richards. Uh, I'm also working on the policy side. And, uh, trying just to learn. Sure. Heard about it. Um, and, uh, yeah. Sure, sure. Tyler X line, I work for Harvard Davis and Dealer Systems. Uh, we're kind of CRM application that's web based. We don't have a large platform in the phone market, but we can definitely see us going there. You know, we're looking at all the platforms. So Sure. 
state solutions architecture also. Uh, same thing as uh, over here, but you know, personally on the side I do stuff. I have uh, I do have a Xamarin in the Android account, and I've also done a bunch of some uh, hybrid web development, and I've also been doing some cross-platform development for iOS and Android using Java uh, more more so than Xamarin right now. So. Cool. Well, I'll call Rob up when I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> You can you can critique him today. <laughs> Some uh, Dale Gansa working for City Enterprises downtown. Um, cool. Do that dot net and primarily actually the last year I've been more into SSIS and SQL Server than I have back in dot net stuff. But uh, I have for the Xamarin and we have a lot. We have pretty much the iOS and Android mobile users in house and talking. We have Intune coming in, so we're probably going to have. Uh, so there some opportunities. Cool. Right. And uh, stuck in at the end there. Yeah. Can you uh, introduce yourself? And tell uh, anybody? Matt Sheehan. Uh, work at Adrix. Down in Akron? Yeah, down in Akron. Really? Wow, yeah. that's cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Somebody here is from Akron other than myself. Have so. you uh, had any experience with Xamarin or mobile development? Uh, not with this. Okay, cool. And yeah, uh, we're going around and introducing ourselves. You're, you're the last one. Yes. Uh, Adam Mobley. Okay. National Interstate. Oh, okay. For a whole team with you. Yeah. <laughs> we should thank them today. Like, you know, this this talk presented by or sponsored by. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Um, I've got very little structure to this presentation. Uh, Xamarin is something that I'm currently exploring myself, and I have um, I've built up some excitement about the potential that we have here. And I work for MacroPoint, which is a subsidiary of Bennett Adelson. We have built and maintained a hosted solution for trucking companies to do geo-tracking of loads. And we provide value where a truck doesn't have specialized equipment built in, so we'll track by tracking cell phones. Um, some of our drivers actually have an app that we've built. We have an iOS app, an Android app, and a Windows app that gets installed on the phone and it'll ping back to us and let us know where they're at so we can track, uh, track their, their loads. Um, they're all separate projects separate code base. We don't really have uh, mobile developers in-house. Uh, I've kind of become the Android developer just because recently we've had changes we had to do to the app, but they were written by people that are no, no longer here. So when we need to make changes to our iOS app, we have to learn Objective-C to figure out what the code looks like. So as part of my uh, my efforts in uh, updating our Android app, I've been learning about Xamarin as well with the, the uh, forward look to perhaps consolidating. If we're going to have to rebuild some of these apps, we might as well rebuild them once into a platform. All of our developers are at MacroPoint are C-sharp developers. So if we can put them all into C-sharp, we will have uh, a, pro uh, a, a family of projects, actually, that, that any one of the developers can so I've got a few slides at the beginning just to go over some overview. What is Xamarin? Why would you want to use Xamarin? But then most of most of what I'll do here is open up code. I'll show you. We'll write. Uh, we'll actually write an app, and I'll demonstrate uh, an app that I'm currently working on. What is Xamarin? Somebody asks you, what is Xamarin? You can spend a long time talking about it because it's actually a family of products. You can think of the Xamarin platform as the, the branding around a set of uh, technologies 
that the Xamarin company has released to provide uh, multi-platform .NET uh, developer experience. The first two, Xamarin.iOS, Xamarin.Android, you may be familiar with Mono, which is the open source uh, CLR alternative to .NET. Uh, Xamarin.iOS used to be called Mono Touch, which was a mono-based iPhone uh, platform. Xamarin.Android used to be called Mono Droid, which you know, mono-based uh, Android uh, platform. They've rebranded those into the Xamarin name, and they've uh, they've actually brought the coding up to kind of consistency with the rest of the, the family, and so. It's a, it is a, a full-blown .NET environment, but it wraps the native API for the platform. So I'm speaking from experience with Android. Um, I'm assuming that their marketing is truthful on the iOS side of things. So I'm not an iOS developer, but I can say on the Android side of things that everything that you can do in Android, you can do in Xamarin.Android. And it is exactly the same way. In fact, uh, one of my demos I'll show you will take Java from Android Studio and will literally copy and paste it, tweak it to make it C-sharp instead of Java, and you'll see that it will run uh, as it. Xamarin.Forms is what I'm really excited about now, though. What they've done once they got the platform so that it's reliable, you can build a uh, Xamarin iOS or a Xamarin Android uh, solution and count on it. They've begun, I think uh, Xamarin Forms came out about a year ago, so it, it's still new. There's still some rough edges around it, uh, but it's, it has a real vibrant community. If you, if you start to dive into this and you run into any issues, uh, I'll have my contact info, you can call me, we can visit together. Uh, but there's also a large community online of people that are actively working in this that can help you out. I've uh, gotten a lot of help there in the past few months. But Xamarin Forms is an, is an abstraction layer that sits on top of Xamarin iOS, Xamarin Android, or the Windows Phone 8 SDK. Uh, I think maybe it's 8.1 uh, minimum. But, um, it, it abstracts away all of the common controls and widgets and you know whatever you might use services uh, API uh, calls that each of the platforms has and provides you a a common uh, uh, framework that you can use to write code so you can write code once for Xamarin.Forms and it'll work across all of the platforms Right now, out of the box, it'll support iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. Uh, there is a Linux um, uh, support that is in the works, and they actually have a, a preview channel. You can download the bits to try it out. I haven't done that yet. Um, there's a Windows RT uh, uh, layer that, that, that they're working on. You can get on the preview channel. Um, and I haven't seen any bits yet, but they say that they're working on an Xbox layer. So uh, you'll be able to write Xamarin Forms and run it across, what is that, five or six different platforms uh, out of the box. Now the Windows RT one will also work with Windows 10 Universal Apps. So. Xamarin Studio, Xamarin for Visual Studio. Xamarin Studio is their own full-blown IDE. Um, if you get the free level of Xamarin, you get Xamarin Studio, you can work in there. Um, don't have to pay anything to, to try it out. Um, it's actually pretty robust, and there, there have been times, I'm doing all my demos on a Mac uh, in order so that I can build the iOS and stuff. It's not my Mac, I didn't buy it to do development on. It's my wife's app, uh, Mac. She uses it to browse the web. So it's not real beefy, it's not if I was specking it out, I would, I would uh, probably get more memory and faster disk or, or whatever. But um, there are times that I've said, I'm going to, you know, I'm getting tired of the performance, the lag, having to, to slow down on Visual Studio. So I'll pull up Xamarin Studio and, it, you know, 
I don't have all my resharper keystrokes, but um, it's still a very capable IDE. Xamarin for Visual Studio is an extension for, that brings Xamarin right into what you're used to. And um, that's at a, a higher level, license level, in order to get this. But if you get, um, what is it, a Xamarin Professional, I think, you've got Indie, right? I think it's a level above that. Yeah. Um, have to get to get the Visual Studio plugin, but then everything you do in Visual Studio you can do with with the Xamarin stuff. So you've got all your TFS, uh, GitHub. You'll see I've I've got uh, all the source code that you'll see tonight is on GitHub. You can go get if you want to play with it and and uh, see how it works. You might want to point out too though that the Xamarin Studio you can't do the you can't do Windows. Oh right, because it is only the, the Xamarin stuff. It's not. With Visual Studio, you can go out and, because they have iOS and Android, they don't have a wind phone. They didn't need to do that for C-sharp developers, but as Rob says, it, you're going to have to go into your Visual Studio, so you've got a separate environment for that. Uh, that's probably going to be true for the Xbox and for the Universal apps, um, those layers as well. Uh, Xamarin Insights. I'll go through these quickly. Test Cloud and University, uh, those are additional services. I don't have any experience with them. I can only recite for you what their marketing tells you about them, but Insights is basically like Google Analytics, but for your apps, so you can kind of see how the users are using your apps. Uh, Test Cloud, maybe once we start building apps with this, we'll want to use this. It's a cloud of literally hundreds of different brands and models of physical devices, and you can automate uh, your tests into the cloud and then get back a report on you know on how that ran. And university is, of course, their training uh, arm. So if you've decided you're going to build a mobile app, you happen to be a C-sharp developer, you're looking at your alternatives and you decide, okay, how am I going to do this? If you're going to go native, which is what everybody will say is the best way because you get complete control over everything. You're, also, you're going to have to learn Objective-C or Swift or iOS. You're going to have to learn and get familiar with the Xcode IDE. To do Android, you just finished building your iOS app. Now you've got to go learn Java, Android Studio. Um, if you're getting legacy code that was built in, in uh, Eclipse, it's even worse. Uh, you're going to build Windows Phone. That one, you're pretty set. You're already a .NET developer. You know C Sharp. You know XAML. You know Visual Studio. So uh, you're ready to go on the Windows side. You have, of course, complete control of the hardware. You can do anything you can do in iOS. You can do in uh, Objective-C and, and Xcode. It is the highest learning curve of your options. So if you need to do something quick, you're probably not going to go the native route. Um, there is no sharing of code either. You're not going to take those libraries that you built for your iOS app and just reference them into your Android app. Another alternative is to go mobile web. Uh, a lot of places opt for this because it's fast and easy. Uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Everybody knows that already. Everybody's got their favorite text editor. Uh, you're pretty well set do that. Um, it is the lowest learning curve, but it also has the lowest control over the devices. Uh, all those fancy accelerometers and uh, fingerprint scanners you're not going to be able to get from a mobile web app. All the code is on the server. That can be a plus. That can be a minus. On the plus side, of course, you don't have to worry about deploying uh, through app stores or whatnot, but on the other hand, you also cannot execute this uh, offline. So when the users doesn't have a signal, they also don't have your app. Apache Cordova. This is a, a uh, strong hybrid solution. Also HTML, CSS, JavaScript. With Visual Studio 2015, there's, there will now be integrated support for Cordova, so you'll be able to use Visual Studio for that. Um, it is also a low learning curve. It, give, it provides you better control of the device. Not 
but better. It, you could compare Cordova, and the next one that I'll get to in a second, the Tolerant platform, with Xamarin Forms, not with the Xamarin iOS and Android. So you kind of got that level of abstraction, the lowest common denominator across all the platforms. But it does provide you the offline execution scenario. Tolerant is also uh, HTML based. Oh, there's an interesting thing here too that depends on how you like to do this, but their IDE is actually in the browser. So you're actually coding uh, on the web. So the users can be offline and use the app, but the developer has to be online to write the app. Again, low learning curve, uh, moderate device control. It, it is like uh, Cordova or Xamarin Forms that you can share code across the platforms. Um, it is less mature. It's a brand new product, um, so there isn't as much experience in the industry out there. But those are your alternatives to Xamarin. I don't expect you to read all of this. These slides will be available to download if you'd like. You can read through them uh, at your leisure. But basically, ThoughtWorks does an annual review of developer tools and technologies, and I thought this was a good quote for them. Uh, we are excited by the progress made by Xamarin and offering a solid choice for building cross-platform mobile apps. So they actually got uh, some airtime from ThoughtWorks, as well as Gartner's. I'll zoom that in a little bit so you can see Xamarin there. My laser should work. I can aim, can't aim at this angle. <laughs> 